my dear brothers and sisters in jesus john pauls in his book the christian vision narrates a story of ireland of the times when ireland was ruled by kings there was a king ruling ireland at that time who did not have any children to succeed him on his throne so the king decided to choose someone who is worthy to follow him he set his message in every nook and corner of cities and villages inviting people to apply for an interview with him those who think who would succeed him in the throne as the king he had two important qualities requested of any aspirant first is that young person should be having a deep faith in god second he should have real love towards human persons the young guy around whom the whole story has been built edict of the king thought perhaps he could apply for this job so he decided to go and take an interview with the king but as he checked he realized that he doesn't have even a decent dress to wear for the interview and he did not have sufficient money for his food and travel to reach the king and come back from there so what he decided was he began to beg for this and some good hearted people felt good for this young guy and he happened to collect some good dress and have some money to buy provisions and to travel to the king getting all these things ready the guy was so much excited he traveled and went to the area of the king's castle from afar he could find the castle on a small hill with excitement and expectation he went over there as he was coming closer to the castle he found a old beggar sitting on the wayside and as he approached he cried out telling that he didn't have food for 3 4 days and he is feeling so cold he would like to get some clothes to cover himself this guy was touched seeing the condition of this beggar he wanted to help him but he thought if he gives his coat to him and the money he has collected for his provisions he will be in trouble he will lose the chance but anyway he prayed to god to reveal his will it enlightened him what he did was he gave his good suit overcoat to the poor beggar and also shared some of the provisions he had and also money with this poor beggar he was feeling bit ashamed to walk in his raw clothes but anyway he thought as he has come up to this stage he will go and get an interview with the king 
as he came to the gate the gatekeeper received him and led him to the reception hall and he had to wait there for a long time for the king to come to take the interview as the king came he bowed himself respecting the king and looked at the face then he realized that the beggar whom he met there was the king he felt so embarrassed then he asked the king why did you do this to me then the king said yes i really wanted to make sure that you love god and love others even though this is a fictitious story the point is very clearly established that the king wanted to prove to himself that the one who succeeds him should have deep love of god and practical love towards his brethren this is the message of today's gospel giving to us all the readings relates to this message that the king will judge every one of us at the end of the times based on our love towards our neighbors our love towards others to prove our love towards god in the final judgment the king will come on his throne and judge everyone based on their good deeds that's how he decides that people are worthy of his kingdom this is the peculiarity of jesus kingdom jesus had kingship he was a king as during the time of his trials he was asked are you the king of the jews he says you said so but he said my kingdom is not of this world the peculiarity of the kingdom or kingship of jesus is quite clearly explained this is a kingdom wherein love reigns and mercy abounds accepting god as our creator our father automatically makes us believe that all the human persons are our brothers and sisters so at the end of the times when people come to be judged god decides the judgment based on the activities the virtuous actions we have done during our time he tells them i was hungry and you fed me i was thirsty you gave me to drink i was in the jail i was sick you came and visited me i was a stranger you gave me shelter at this moment the souls of the just will ask him lord when did we meet you like this coming hungry or thirsty or left out as a stranger or a sick person or a person in jail here comes the statement of jesus as to decide the membership in the kingdom of god is decided based on your attitude and actions towards your own brethren whenever you did any of these things to the least of my brothers you did it to me so this is a clear expression of jesus kingdom jesus is not a king of the categories of worldly kings using authority lording over the other establish his power or expressing something of his own enjoyment but that was a kingdom where love abounds where people feel secure where people find mercy where people exercise love so jesus is not the king of a temporary authority and power but he is a king of the love of heart his kingdom is in the heart of the people that is a clear peculiarity jesus wanted to make for his kingdom and his kingship 
is of that kind during his trial when pilate asked him are you the king of jews he clarified the concept of his kingdom if i were like a king of this world my disciples my followers would have come and rescued me they would not have never allowed to get me arrested like this but my kingdom is of the other world world of god's reign world of god's love once a soldier was captured and brought before the king accusing him to be a christian in the early days of the church when christianity was accepted not as a reckoned religion but authorities wanted to abolish christianity it is at that time it happened and he was brought before the king and the king asked him are you a christian boldly he said yes i am a christian then he said then you do not approve caesar you do not obey caesar he said no i approve caesar and obey caesar then he said do one thing you offer the sacrifices to caesar if you are not an enemy of caesar you should offer incense to caesar then the soldier again calmly told jesus is my lord my god caesar is my king i will worship only one god that is jesus christ who has died for me and for you then the magistrate threatened him telling that i would execute you he said nothing doing magistrate said i can chop off your head from over your shoulders the soldier said yes you may be able to take off my head from my shoulders but you cannot take off jesus from my heart that is a depth of love this christian soldier had that is how he accepted jesus as his king for him he is ready to accept even death his life is not more valuable than jesus for him this is how jesus becomes a king of heart for the believers who have got deep faith in god that christian soldier was decapitated christianity has survived more than 2000 years today on the face of the earth there were a lot of afflictions or persecutions inflicted on the christians there were times they had to face tough experiences or opposition from other groups of the world it survived during the middle ages there were lot of troubles misunderstandings wrong expressions and allegations against christianity but church calmly and courageously faced all these kind of phenomenon even today there are many people who violently react against christianity it has gone through all kind of um, changes and revolutions that is happening in the modern world it had to encounter real scientific developments atheistic approaches where people deny god and people say god is dead already but christianity still survives because christ has touched the heart of the people it has transformed their being and he is the king he is the inspiration he is the light he is the power he is the strength he is the valor of the those who believe in him the roman empire in spite of its might which ruled the world so powerfully with the guns and cannons 
is no more existing today the british empire of it it was said the sun never sets in or sets out is reduced to a small country today the french empire which showed its power and might under napoleon is today a very small country of the world all these nations thrived on power strength and might money and power and influence of the external world but christianity did not have this kind of strength or power or influence even though it must have slipped into this kind of temptations now and then it has survived and gone beyond this kind of a wrong approaches or failures and it survives even as a kingdom of human hearts kingdom of divine love kingdom of divine mercy jesus kingdom and kingship are of different nature here the authority is to serve the people here the membership comes out of faith in god in jesus here the basic law is a law of love here the judgments are always with mercy a new concept of kingdom that jesus established and he lives and reigns and succeeds and goes eternity as the king of this new kingdom of god's reign and human love let us be a part of this kingdom accept jesus as our king king of love king of mercy king of divine rule in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen